is because it's not a force win like even though technically it might be winning it's going to take like another 20 moves to win whereas the other one can win on the spot I was very close to like I don't want to say getting a normal job but doing something not specifically chess related so let's do it move by move so 95 Rook takes e5 Rook f8 King to 7 check King to 8 I got some spaghetti just just to sort of tied me over pin to win there, there's a class of pin to win and now I now I very quietly go here and if he checks I take if he checks I take I think it's winning first thing you want to look at when you do puzzles you want you want to look at um the the pieces whether what what the material count is that's the first thing and then beyond that you want to look at what can you capture uh for free and in this case it's pretty obvious it's the very first one so you just capture the pawn for checkmate king has no squares um because this rook covers there and this pawn covers here and the rook will check the king from f3 okay so in this one black again you have a mater material is even here black is about to queen the pawn so it's pretty straightforward that you start pushing the pawn uh just up the board that's checkmate okay this one again you look at the material count black is a queen so you're down a queen um so obviously you need something right away and then secondly you look for what piece can you capture and right here is pretty obvious the bishop covers a square so that's checkmate all right material count is um material count is even nothing is is for free but you will notice the black king is a little bit loose here there are no squares the king can go to so therefore uh you start looking then for ways to attack the king and the obvious way is to make a check and after you take it's checkmate king has no squares to go to do so you take with mate all right uh in this position you are down material white has two bishops and a knight you have a bishop and a knight second thing you look for is what to capture pretty pretty clear cut this is just checkmate all right same same thing here what's the count white is the bishop and knight you have a bishop next thing what can you capture you can capture the pawn but it's guarded uh but you can however capture this one and the battery leads to checkmate all right here same thing black has two knights and a bishop white has a knight a bishop and two rooks so you're dead you're down a piece what can you capture of course you can capture this a checkmate um same thing white has an extra bishop here white is a queen two rooks and a bishop black is a queen and two rooks I feel like I feel like maybe the algorithm is listening to me because literally everything I said uh is ma making it too obvious so you take <clears throat> and now here you could capture the rook and you're winning but there is a way to go for a patented ice skater with queen f1 king is stuck no squares to go to and this is checkmate all right what's the count here one two three one two three black is one two three four five so black is up two pawns um that being said there is a free knight to capture here so I guess you just capture to create the checkmate threat and that should be good how am I I'm doing well I'm having a good morning you guys I slept pretty well um I went out I got I I, I re repeat the routine so actually one thing a lot of people probably aren't aware of is chess players can be fairly superstitious at times and um and I remember that the last Tuesday when I streamed from St Louis I guess it really was only one week ago now um but when I stream when I stream from St Louis I won title Tuesday I remember that the stream it was a little bit I was a little bit slow getting the stream stream off the ground I I ran to uh to whole paycheck to get to get some food and and I got I got some spaghetti just just to sort of tide me over for for title Tuesday and um and so because of that you know uh, what I was gonna say chess players can be pretty superstitious and having an 11 out of 11 score um I did go to whole paycheck earlier and I got some pasta and um, trying to repeat the routine and of course if it works I win title Tuesday with 11 out of 11 you know that next Tuesday I'm also gonna go and get pasta again from whole paycheck is saying okay material count here is even you have um both sides of the same number of material nothing is nothing can be captured for free so then you start looking for checks and the obvious check is here you check and collect the queen I'm not superstitious but I'm a little superstitious chess players are pretty superstitious I will say it's like for example if, if I start out a tournament a good example is the U.S championship in 2019 uh if um I start I started wearing a, a jumper to start that event or sorry not jumper why am I talking British English um I wore this sort of sweater and um when I got up to a good start I started winning games I never changed the routine so I ro roll I wore the same uh same sweater for the entire tournament um oh I have to travel to St Louis now to re repeat the routine exactly um now here you're down two rooks for a bishop and a knight but the king is in the middle of the board so I think if you take the pawn you can capture and then you capture and it's just checkmate okay let's see you have bishop and a knight black is a bishop and knight same in material bounce but there is a clear-cut free free pawn to capture so you do capture it uh someone says uh maybe maybe pasta just improves your um 
maybe pasta just improves your chest yeah maybe it's not superstition true good point all right you can take the queen but black will take the queen so you take and then you take the queen one two three four five material is balanced you are you are kind of losing a bishop here so what you do is you make a check he goes here and then you make a check and you make a mate to so check check block and then mate with the bishop and the queen okay this should be check actually i know i know what it is but again let's let's follow the process one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven even material but again it is a puzzle so you're looking for uh captures and checks there are no there's nothing free to capture here the pawns are all kind of guarded um but there is a check and after you check you can actually sack the knight here on f2 and when you sack on f2 after rook takes f2 you go check king can't capture because the queen guards it and so he has to block and you take take the rook on f1 so check and mate now here uh even material one two three four five six seven even material but you can capture the bishop because after pawn takes you take the rook and then you will have the double ops against the lone pony all right so here um what's it one two three four five one two three four five six so white has an extra pawn um you can make a capture there are no checks uh anywhere really so um then you have to look for tactics so so what you do is you trade you go rook b8 and then when the queen moves you capture the bishop on b2 Thank you to Fabio Mora for the Prime. Thank you to Tiger Woods for the Prime. Thank you so much to Tiger Woods. Thank you to Natty Batty for the Tier 1. Thank you to Alimentus Cerebral for the 11. Polonius Archimedes for the 2. And Cream Skull for the Gift of Sub to In the Time of Nick. Okay, so here it's, again, even material balance. But you start to see how the ponies jump. You make the fork and you win the Rook on C6. All right, what is this? You are down a Rook and a Knight um however you're down a rook and a knight there's nothing free to capture so then you look for checks and obviously since you're down a rook and a knight you better you better go go fast uh pasta for breakfast yeah i didn't really want to eat pasta for breakfast but you got to follow the routine trust it trust in the routine right Paid a p mark for the 15 months appreciate it good check check probably also you guys is going to be a pretty long stream or at least i'm intending for it to be um so also you got you got to get you, you got to get those uh got to get those carbs okay so let's see I think here what's the count one two three four five one two three four five okay even material so you're not desperate um after that you're looking for captures you can capture here you'll notice the double op combo and when you capture white is capture then you win a knight so you do take and then you take the knight you need a p mark for the five gifted subs thank you so much to p mark appreciate it thank you man um what is this okay one two three four five six one two three four five six even material okay nothing special here um they get a brilliant strike for the 11 months okay so even material this one is tricky though um for for 20 especially i think what you do is you you can move a queen to make a checkmate throw but black just blocks so what you should play is i think rook h3 and queen h6 to go for a lolly and um multiple multiple checkmate ideas doing this slowly really helps thanks oh no problem yeah I'm gonna try to do this slow because I do want to go um I do want to try and get to like get to like get to 100. my instinct says it's rook h3 that's just my instinct um I see no other moves there are no free pieces there are no checks so you have to look for a straightforward concept and it seems like the obvious concept okay so that works thank you to Eric the engineer for the prime appreciate it. okay so black pawn goes down the board white pawns go up the board currently uh down one pawn also white will always be able to sack the rook for the pawn to make a draw because you can bring the king and push the pawn up the board um so you know that there has to be something very fast and, and so now that you know that if the rook can sack for the pawn it's going to be a draw you have to look for something to try and trade the rooks um and and so the pawn can go down so what you do is you go check now you go check you trade the rooks and then your pawn has a free path to the end of the board go check let's just take the rook uh is your ring some kind of talisman for you or you play you, or you you play without it no problem uh talisman that's a, less a little bit exaggerated you guys um but what I would say about the ring is um uh jokes aside there, I, th I think I've said this before but since there probably are people who haven't heard it um the reason that I that not not so much that I wear the ring well I guess yeah the reason the reason that I do wear the ring um is is because it's it's a good reminder of a time so this the ring that I wear is from the 2009 U.S championship um and the, the reason that I wear it is mainly as a reminder that at that time I was considering not playing chess professionally. I, I was very close to like, <clears throat> excuse me, 
I was very close to um I was very close to kind of uh you know maybe I don't want to say getting a normal job but doing something not specifically chess related and um and so it's a good reminder that because when I won that tournament what it did was it really um it really sort of it, it gave me that confidence and and the ability where like I I ended up pursuing chess professionally and if I had not won that 2009 US championship there's a good chance I might not be playing chess today so that's uh that's that's the main reason it's a, it's a good reminder Okay, so here again, same similar concept, by the way. White pawn can, white can always sack the rook for the pawn and make a draw because the king and the pawn are coming down the board very quickly. So once I know that white can sack the sack the rook for the pawn, I have to look for a way to get this pawn to the end of the board and make a queen. And the way to do that is to go rook d3 to shield the pawn from the capture and then make a queen as well. And now I make a queen and that's game over. Um, lies, it turns him invisible, obviously, yes. Yes, my precious, my precious. Um, okay, so here, uh, black is one, two, three, four, five. White is one, two, three. Um, but white has a knight and a bishop for a rook, which generally is good. So, so what you want to do here is you want to look for tactics, and the tactic is actually check, and then you attack, you do a double attack of the knight and the bishop here is rook d6. Now you hit the bishop, and the bishop can't guard the knight. If it goes away, you take. If it doesn't, you take. You take the bishop with your pawn. Okay, material count whites up a pawn in an end game. Now, again, as a grandmaster, it's very easy for me to look at this position and be like, okay, if it's black's move here, black is worse, but black can probably draw this with perfect play. So I know there has to be something quick and to the point here. And the, the correct move is to make a check. You take with check. And now you have check with a fork, the king and the rook. King goes over it. You take, he takes, and then you take the bishop on b7. So check and takes and takes. All right, what is this? Um material count is one two three four five white has one two three four five six okay so material count is even there's nothing for free that can be captured here um additionally there there's there are no real checks so now i have to look and think well what what is misplaced what doesn't look right here and when, as i look at the position i'm like this queen on a7 looks a little bit mysterious here and um i would love to go rook a8 but after queen c5 white remains up a pawn so what I think I'm supposed to do is go b6 and he moves here I go rook e8 to trap the queen on a6 and he comes knight c or if he goes knight c7 I play rook takes d6 I think it's b6 and now yeah I go rook e8 trap the queen he can block with a knight but I just take with a rook okay so now this position what we see is one two three four five even material here in this position but you'll notice both kings are very open and black king in particular you if it was white's move here you're getting checkmated um by queen a8 your king is super open a lot of checks here so you have to look for a way to check and try to make a checkmate immediately yourself and um let's look okay rook takes b3 he takes rook c2 he goes king a3 rook a2 which probably is a draw um the other option is to go queen c2 king a3 yeah and then check king a4 rook c4 should be mating you go check now, if you take take, you have queen c1, king e2, queen c2, which makes a draw. But you do want to try to find something a little bit better than that. And so the correct move here would be queen c1. Now you sack on c4. If he takes on a5, you go queen a3 mate. If he takes, you take back, and then you have a checkmate. Uh, let's go here. Okay, what is this? White is up an extra knight here. So white's up a knight, obviously, uh, for a couple of couple of couple of juicers however uh you do need to find something quickly so there are no captures you can't take the rook because the rook would put your king in check um so then what else do you have then the third thing that i generally would look for is checks are there any checks here and the reason you can't capture the rook on c6 is because of this pin so i suspect the correct move is just rookie one here okay now you take and now you'll notice the rook is gone no pin and now you can just eat the rook here and go king c8 and okay it goes on white's threatening queen d7 i assume you go rook d8 here although it's not trivial if that's the correct move um robert has drawn the 2009 u.s championship clincher for you he drew his final game but uh more importantly was the my win against josh friedel in the final round uh because we had the same score why am I up so early? Because I love my fans. That's why I'm up so early, you guys. Sure, sure. You know my mo my bones might be achy and I, you know creaky and everything. Trying to get up at 7 a.m. Um, 
But the fact is, my fans, you, you guys have supported me through through this amazing run over the last couple of years as a streamer. And um, the fact is, if you if you can't if you can't um, if you can't get up at, at the time for when most of your fans want to watch you, then I mean you shouldn't be a streamer, and they shouldn't sub, frankly, because if you if you if you can't if you can't if you, if you can't like do it for if you can't find the inspiration from the fans who support you, then what's the point? Um, all right. TSM facility is going to be real quiet the next couple of months. Yeah, I don't know what TSM is going to be like. Um, I actually sent Bjergsen a message last night. I assume this is Rook D8, although I'm actually not sure because there's Queen B2. Um, but I sent Bjergsen a message last night just just because I was kind of curious to see see how everyone's doing. Because I know I know it's it's pretty rough, uh, pretty rough with what happened. Okay, what are the moves here? Wait a second. I actually have to think. So if I go Rook D8, there's there is Queen B2. Covers a check and threatens a checkmate on B7. So it's not as obvious as I thought it should be. This is actually tricky. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but let's see. Uh, if I go Rook D8, Queen B2, Queen E5, he can just take the Queen. Which is why I'm now wondering about Rook E8, but after Queen D7, King B8, Queen C6, it's not working either. So... Um... It's got to be Rook D8, though. No other move makes sense. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3. White has Uno, Dos, Tres, Quattro. So you're down You're down a piece again. So what can you capture? And here there are a lot of captures. You have Knight E2. You have Knight C2. You have EF4. But obviously, since you're behind, Knight E2 looks like an obvious move. Or Knight C2 with the Fossil. If you take on C2, however, White can then push the Pawn to attack your Bishop. And then you take the Rook, but he takes your, he takes your Bishop with the Pawn. Not quite right. So the correct move is to capture with the double check. And now you actually sacrifice the knight with knight g3. And after queen h6, king can't go over because your bishop covers the square. And so queen h5 is the only move, and then you just take, and it's a clean checkmate. Okay, this position, you are down one piece. You have a bishop, black is a bishop, and a knight. Now, if you move the king, the first thing I see is that black can go queen c1 check with the bishop guarding, and queens come off the board. And because you only have a bishop, and he has a bishop and a knight, and you're behind... Um, you don't really want to do that. So it makes it very easy knowing that both these king squares allow this move. So the correct move is to play g3 because your bishop guards the pawn after g3 you can't capture. And now I think you take the pawn because you're threatening to take and just made him on the seventh rank, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think that's that looks correct to me. I see nothing else, so let's just go for it. There's queen h5, queen h4. What's the count again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an even, it's even material, but you'll notice that there are a couple of weaknesses. There, there are light square weaknesses on both diagonals here um, to attack the king on e8. So both look good, but my instinct says that uh, one reason you never want to push an f pawn early is specifically because of this check. So I assume it's check takes takes, and then you take the rook in the corner. Okay, one, two, one, one, two, three for white, one, two for black. So you're behind. You can't bring the king towards this pawn because first of all, it's blockaded. But secondly, then white will just push the pawn and make a queen. So it's pretty clear that you have to move the king over to one of these squares. If you go to b3, a5, b6 wins for white. So you probably go here. So if he pushes, you take. If he doesn't, you take and take. So I think you just take. And I think your pawn is faster. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five uh one two three four five six yeah so this should be winning a three a two and now you win yep i saw you the other day on netflix chess episode explain loved it thank you so much you guys glad you enjoyed it no way he gets 50 straight uh I, there's a good chance i will get 50 straight because i'm taking it very slow Okay, so here white has two bishops and a knight. I have a bishop and a knight. So again, I'm down by I'm down by a piece. So then I look for, is there anything I can capture? And yes, there is. I can capture this pawn with the queen or the rook. Um, that's the only capture. It's also a check, and there's also a check. Queen e7, the white king is safe. The one thing you'll notice is that white has an extra piece here with two bishops and a knight. But the king is kind of in the middle and out, out, of the, um, out in the open here. So here, the correct move is probably takes. And now I think, again, you have to look for another check with bishop f5. You look for another check, and when he takes, you take back with a check, and then you collect the rook in the corner. Okay, what's the count? One, two, three, four. Material count is pretty close to even. White has, um, 
material count is even in fact but you are busy getting checkmated on f7 and f8 here by the white queen and the white rook so you have to look for desperate desperate um uh desperate ideas and as as this, as the good old saying goes desperate times call for desperate measures and so here you have this beautiful um I don't know what you call this checkmate I think there's a term for it but you have this beautiful move rook h1 check the queen h4 check and, and the pawn supports the queen and it prevents the king from getting out uh to f2 as well go checkmate is it called a Damiano Damiano checkmate okay that, that's possible yeah okay so here you see black is three pawns it's a king and pawn endgame now we went over king and pawn endgames a lot last night uh or on yesterday's stream I should say um do I sleep with mosquitoes no but I actually noticed that I got bit on my leg so I'm not happy about this I got some mosquitoes uh, took a nice little chunk out of me yesterday I think when I was outside going for a walk um which so I'm kind of annoyed by that but you know what to do all right so it's a king upon end game white has two pawns and black has three pawns uh now you, you'll notice since you're down by a pawn if, if this is just black's move black wins the game so, so what you have to do is you have to try to get this pawn to the end of the board so the move is here start pushing again push the king up push the pawn up and now you'll see the reason that this is really um now now this is um now this is pretty pretty straightforward what you do is you make a queen and you go check here the king shields the king king can't come to any of these three squares so when you make the check there are only two squares king can go to and then you make the check and you eat the queen on d1 it was last Tuesday right when Ikar made 11 out of 11 yes it was last Tuesday amazingly it's only been one week it feels like it's been like it feels like it's been a month or something to me I don't know maybe it's because I've traveled I've done a lot of stuff since then but it feels like it's been a very very long time um but yeah it would have moved Queen d8 Knight e4 is a move here but it doesn't look right um this is a weird puzzle because material count is one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so it's even material here so there are a couple ways you can play this first one is you can take the knight and then trade the queens um and then take the pawn you're up a pawn in an end game that's the first one you have um my instinct says it's probably queen d8 and then bishop e4 knight e4 but i i honestly am not sure Let's see what are the moves here um thank you to drake trader for the 300 but thank you i won't sub with twitch prime for the six thing n h o a g s for the eight fluffy digger for the seven and alpha for the prime um uh you're up upon in both lines but my instinct is that probably i actually really don't know i mean my instinct is that it's this one oh it takes so which is bad because now you take and after takes you can just take the knight on e4 and you're just up a piece is there a rule is there, is there a rule for the peace count to be in the end game and middle game not really but I would say in end games especially king and pawn end games if you have a pawn that's a pass pawn uh you need to try to get that to the end of the board like if especially if you're behind a material you need to look for a way to do that because long term um you're, you're gonna end up losing if you have less material that's that's a pretty basic rule but I think it's pretty common I guess you could say um at any rate let's keep going Queen f1 check this was easy ra 92 68 great move but the cur but that is eh, wrong very wrong Queen f1 is not the correct move so after Queen f1 white goes Bishop g1 and you're probably losing um the correct move here is to go Queen to c1 check I again let's let's go through the process so you have um you, you have uh you have one less pawn first of all you can capture some pawns but it doesn't really matter that much um uh but then you start looking for checks and there are a couple of checks you have Queen f1 check and Queen c1 check uh, now queen f1 does look right but white plays bishop g1 and you're, you're probably in trouble whereas after queen c1 check it's a, it's the classic uh it's the classic right triangle as we all know where you hit the king and then you capture because your pawn supports the queen okay so check take and now again you take and it's an end game and you use two rooks and a bishop he has a rook and a bishop okay let's see so in this position white again has two rooks and a bishop you have a rook a knight and a bishop here so it's not trivial what you're supposed to do but but again there are no cap I mean you can capture a pawn but since you're behind in, in material and it's an end game you really need to try to do something fast if white can use these two rooks especially if white can get the king to like d3 and then just use the use the rooks and bring them in to infiltrate behind where your king is you'll lose the game immediately so the correct the correct way to play this is to go rook g2 check and now you'll notice the king is a little bit stuck here there there are no squares to go to and the knight also holds holds all the squares as well 
so you're threatening to make a checkmate and now what you do is you uh you now go bishop g5 to make a very clean checkmate with bishop h4 okay rook c2 very tricky move you could take the rook but then white will take back uh since the bishop and the rook both guard it these these two guard guard uh guard that rook on c2 so what you play here is you actually go check and the king has no squares because again after you after you attack the king it can't go to these three because the rook would capture on all three of them and it can't go to either f1 or d1 because knight would capture so after check the rook has to block and then you just capture the check and you win the game you need a frost magic ed for the eight months brewski for the five 69 funny number lol for the five months thank you so much dude um okay so material count is even but you will notice the white king is a little bit more open here their ideas like queen d4 and rookie 2 try to infiltrate and attack on the light squares and the dark squares and the second rank um but the question is what's the move okay so there there are a couple of checks there's check and check queen b6 king out king h1 white should be okay but i don't think it's a check um uh what else can maybe queen d4 queen d4 actually looks like the right move here rookie two i'm pretty confident is not the right move so queen takes d3 so let's see let me think for a second i'm pretty sure it's just queen d4 yeah rookie two queen d3 queen b6 though white can go king h1 and then you don't have a check on c6 because the rook captures and when you check king comes up and you check and the king gets out to h3 so it's a it's a great great try but it doesn't quite work so i'm pretty confident it's just check um and now the move yeah rookie one and king g2 i might go over it afterwards uh, although we'll, we'll see um in terms in terms of that okay so king f1 is played here okay what are the options um i think rookie two is correct so if white takes now you have a checkmate the rook and queen if white checks you just run the king up the board and out it looks right okay of course only move and now you just take the queen and that's good okay so now again another king and pawn end game what's it one two three four one two three four uh if you don't take this pawn white will either capture or just go c5 b6 and make a queen at the end of the board so i think you have to capture and again now we hit the rule of this um the rule of the square which is when you take uh you just start counting white goes here here d6 here d7 e7 d8 in so you you'll notice the king is right in time uh to to stop stop this pawn um and this is this is sort of the rule of the square i believe is what they call it uh where where you you make sure that the king is inside the box and it stops the pawn so you take now here here d7 here d8 and you get back just in time you could push but after d6 c2 d7 c1 queen d8 queen your king is actually checkmated because it has no squares to go to so now you go here go here go here and take take on d8 all right black has two pawns white has one pawn again as i said in end games especially king and pawn end games where it's imbalanced uh if you have a pass pawn you want to run it up the board as fast as possible now this one is a little bit tricky if i take this is where we see the box where it takes king here there's g5 king here g6 king e7 g7 king f7 g8 king g8 so black king is in time if i take the pawn on c2 to stop the white pawn um so i i don't have to take the pawn because again if the pawn goes down i can i can capture it i can always capture on c2 so it feels like g5 and okay let's let's see so if i go g5 c5 g6 d6 g7 e7 g8 i'm i'm just in time to win the game so so g5 looks correct so then what i have to look at is the second thing which is g5 king c4 um because then if i take the pawn you'll notice the king is back in the box again g6 e6 g7 f7 g8 there and again it's it's the classic you know classic rule so g5 has to be the right move now again as i said if the king gets to d5 it's in the box and it covers covers all the squares so now can i go g6 is the next question and if i go g6 d5 g7 e6 then i queen and win the game king does not get back in time so after g6 king b3 king c1 it should be winning so i go here now i don't push g7 because after king b2 here black will get a queen so now i go king c1 and again black goes here black doesn't have to black could have pushed e3 but after g7 e2 g8 it would be a check and then i could bring the queen back and stop the pawn on e1 need an ubasu for the 14 months okay another king upon end game you have two juicers against one um a very important end game i would add here um which is you can maybe take with the pawn but after rook a5 it becomes a very tricky rook and rook and pawn end game maybe it's still winning but it's very complicated um 
So what then you want to look at is, is another classic technique we all know, which is that you can you can take on a fourth the rook, you take and now you go king h6 and this is the uh, the rule of the opposition here. Where if I go king g6, king g4, the, the game would be a draw. But here I can go king h6, I go king g6, and with it being with it being white's move, white has to yield and black will be able to take take one of the two squares on the side and then start pushing the pawn up the board. Whereas if we reach this position with the king on g6 and g4 blacks, move, black's king must yield and then white can always mirror the black king. You go here and you win the game. All right. What's the material count here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're down a pawn. That being said, black is a pretty crummy knight here on b8. The pawns really dominated. I mean, the, the knight has no squares. Pawn stops it here. Pawn stops it here. Uh, and this pawn also supports this. So literally, there there are no squares for the for the for the pony. Um, however, at the same time, you are down a pawn and you are trying to make a checkmate. The blacking is very open here. So in this position, uh, a logical move would be to put the king on g2 or g1 to protect the pawn on f2 from capture. But if you do that, either of those squares. Black can play queen g5 check and force queens off. So therefore, the correct move here is to go king h1. And now you go king g1, and you'll notice the queen is on f3 versus f4. So when you go here, there's no there's no magic uh, queen jump like a pony to g5 a check. And after king g1, there are no real checks. And you're going to make the checkmate on h7 next move with the bishop and the queen. So now you take the queen. All right, pretty good. Okay, this position was the count one two three one two three four five you have an extra extra juicer um on c6 and here it's tricky because you can maybe take the pawn but after you take the pawn black was like rook d4 rook f4 you're better but it's going to be a long technical end game and it might not even be winning um then you want to look at the king and you look at the placement of the king and it looks kind of weird somehow on f5 like you have a check Maybe it's something else that makes sense as well. Um, but the king looks a little bit off, off sides here. So the correct move on this position is actually to go rook e3 to try to create a checkmate on e5 because the pawns all support each other. And if you get the rook there, the king is king is just stuck. It has no squares to go to. And now you don't take the pawn on h4 because after king f4, um, black is completely fine. So you keep the king here. And again, black, has, black actually can't stop the checkmate. So you go, when you go king f3 there are a couple mates first one is rook e5 the second one is knight e7 and 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 if black tries to stop rook e5 with f6 knight e7 will be a checkmate if black tries to go rook e6 to stop both checkmates on e5 or e7 then you bring the knight to d4 with mate so after king f3 it's unstoppable so he takes and now you go checkmate how many tournaments have i won worldwide i don't actually know i have no idea i literally have no idea when will i do the next viewer arena i'm not i'm not sure you guys not sure Okay, so in this one, material count is such that white has, um, I guess it's even, but white has some great bastions on d5 and e4. They're really jumping, threatening to fork you. Um, so what are the what are the moves here? Knight f3 is an obvious move, but after rook f3, rook f3, white goes knight f6, and I don't think you're in good shape. That's the first one. What do I do next Saturday? I don't know what I'm doing on Saturday. That's a kind of random question. Uh, I don't, I don't really plan my, I don't plan my, uh, I don't plan far out in advance anymore. You guys, I pretty much, I know that I'm going to stream on certain days. I, or I know that I'm going to be doing some, some, uh, like, you know, sponsorship gig in, in LA or things like that. But, uh, I, I don't plan, I, I don't, I don't plan super far out. Okay. What is the move here? Let's think about this. Knight F3, Rook F3, Rook F3, Knight F6 is probably good. Um, Okay, rook f3, rook f3, knight f6, takes, 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 check, king h2. You're probably not winning there. So I don't think it's rook f3. Uh, if it's not rook f3, um, if it's not rook f3, the only other move that makes sense is knight f3, rook f3, queen g4. But does that make sense is another question too. I think it does make sense. I think it's I think it's knight f3 and queen g4. Thank you to Connor for the eight. Thank you to Robotai D as well. Thank you so much. Um, since I know that it's not rook f3, well, I mean I don't know that it's not rook f3, um, but it has to be one of these captures. So let me try to work out why. I'm pretty confident rook f3 is bad, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So rook f3, rook f3, queen g4. Well, let's say white goes king h1, and. 
and you're in trouble you're you're in you're in, you're, you're you're in big trouble there um you're in you're in big trouble after rook f3 so it has to be knight takes f3 hopefully i'm right um okay so you just trade and then you take the rook and now you just win the game okay good stuff all right next one what is this material count white is a queen of rook and a pawn on the seventh so you better have a way to check me at the king um immediately like pronto 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 you do uh pro suyad for the uh tier three gifted sub thank you so thank you so much pro suyad thank you so much appreciate it thank you all right so um so what do we have here okay if you make a check king runs out if you make a check king runs out so there's a very dirty move here that you play which is you play a5 here and the point is that when white plays end peasant with pawn takes pawn you go queen c5 check king a4 and mate so you need to get this pawn out of the way because like if you go check right here king here you can't swing the queen queen over to make checkmate so uh you need to force white to play end peasant as everybody knows end peasant is required if you have that option you must do it so you play a5 and again after a5 king a4 you just go checkmate again king can't come over because the queen covers all these squares so when you push a5 to make the check if the king goes over you go mate on a1 and, and when white takes the pawn you go queen c5 king a4 queen a5 checkmate wait really it's required no you guys i'm making a joke i'm making a joke you do not have to play on passant if you're playing if you're playing if you're playing a game you do not have to do it um yeah okay so you go check he plays on peasant and now you go check and queen a5 checkmate all right um why not queen c5 first because after king a4 you, you can't swing the queen to a5 that's the reason okay what is this so right now black has you have an extra pawn and an extra bishop but your king is in big danger and the white pawns are going up the board so you have to come up with something really fast here and um basically you have to stop checkmate it's pre it's pretty simple here that you have to stop checkmate so what can you do to stop checkmate you can go here but white will just take your bishop so you don't want to go here so how do you stop the mate uh the only thing that then makes sense is then you have to look for checks and the obvious check is rook uh rook a6 and I think it's correct and now white's threatening g6 so what you do is you go bishop f5 blockade on the light squares rook e8 king e7 check king g8 and um and it should just be winning but yeah I mean end peasant end peasant is a very extravagant idea and concept uh that that's uh very powerful all right so what's going on here you have bishop and a knight for a rook you have one two three four pawns versus three however white's pawn is very close to queening so what you want what you want to do here is you want to look for a way to stop the pawn now it looks very very difficult to stop the pawn because how can you really although wait maybe you could just go g4 actually this is weird this is very weird um my instinct says it might actually just be g4 because a7 you can take take and go g3 and win the game um not sure because there actually are multiple moves knight d4 knight b5 knight a7 is another way to hold it and the knight holds the pawn and the bishop holds the knight oh this is tricky this is actually a tricky one because knight d4 knight b5 feels very obvious to me it feels it feels too obvious huh this is tricky knight d4 feels too obvious somehow But if I go g4 king d3 g3 king e2, oh king e2 g it's got to be g4 I guess I don't actually know here my instinct is that it's just g4 I'm gonna trust my instinct that it's g4 even though I think 94 b5 is winning that's too long and too of too much of a circuitous route I think it's oh it is it is just g4 wow okay I guess you take and go g3 and g2 and now you make a queen okay that was close I wasn't sure on that one okay so what is this one black's king is stuck on the rim but black is up like an extra extra piece nothing can be captured so what checks do we have this king is very airy here but I think after queen d1 King has no squares, so you have to block and just checkmate. 
That's a very easy puzzle for 49. The doubters are going to be very unhappy. How do you decide when you two similar, really similar options? Um, I think the way you decide is you, you have, have to do pure calculation. Now, in a puzzle, it's different than an actual game. Game because in a puzzle, I the reason I know in a puzzle it's not 94 and 5 is because it's not a forced win. Like, even though technically it might be winning, it's going to take like another 20 moves to win, whereas the other one can win on the spot. Okay, so what is this? So I guess you just take the juicer. What am I missing? What am I? I mean, there are no other moves here. Okay, White's trying to swing the queen and make a checkmate. Um, I guess you have to go rookie five to cut the queen from swinging and mating you. I don't. I don't understand this at all. I guess it's just rookie five. Okay, checks. Now, if you go here, you're probably getting sauced and mated. If you go here, you're probably also getting check, check. So I know it's not these two. So it has to be king f8. And then I think it's queen b7, rook b8, queen c6, check. Takes, takes. If king f2, you take. If takes, you ch check. King d1 runs into mate. King f1 runs into check and some kind of mate or something like that, maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. This is tricky. It says here, and I think actually it's not rook B8. I think it's rook E8. And if queen six, you go rook E1, king F2, and then you go check block, and then you use double stack to mate him like that. There we go. 